Hello everyone, it's Diego Dandy in the Bronx. We are reacting to the rival Pokemon Evolutions episode five here today, which is based on Diamond and Pearl. And I'm really excited about this one. I'm wondering which part of the game they pulled out to make an animation about. Uh, and of course, it's perfect timing since the new remakes have dropped. So we're gonna be watching uh, the latest episode right here, episode five, reacting to it, giving my thoughts to it. So. Let's check it out. Footsteps approaching. Ooh, I know those guys. It's Pikachu. <gasps> the rival. It's Barry. What's, so, what's Barry mad about? An operating room? Barry looks so much cooler here, by the way. Barry does not look cool in the video game, honestly. They put some respect on Barry here. Wait, what part of the game is this? Yeah, he looks way cooler here, Azrael. Gym leader battle? I like how there's no voices, by the way. <laughs> and it's over. Oh, briefcase simulator. Briefcase simulator. This is where it begins? Wow. Briefcase simulator, let's go. It, it doesn't look as imposing as it was before. Barry got Piplup. Didn't get a shiny Piplup. Okay, I kind of like this. It is it is an iconic scene, especially for the shiny hunting community right now. Time to soft reset. Ah, let's, there you go. Okay, that's the issue there. There you go. Dad does not care about Barry. Yo. Couldn't have to soft reset. <laughs> okay, I like how it's very it's focusing on Barry, honestly. It's not about the protagonist here. Wait a minute. Since Barry has Piplup, does Dawn exist in this world? Super effective. Let's go. Shine it, shine it, you shine it. Yo, this is making me like Barry. I believe in Barry now. He only wants to beat his dad. I just drifted there. Come on, let's go. Yo, they're they're giving me personality for Barry because in the video game, honestly, I didn't I don't care anything about Barry. Happy Friday, Raheem. Welcome to the chat today. I don't know if that would work in real life. <laughs> Could it be the champion? So come on, let's battle it out. Hmm. Well, aren't you tough? Whoa. I'm really appreciating the, the a lot of personality that they're putting into Barry and like, you know, his purpose for being a Pokemon trainer and like what he's going through. Because like in the video game, that that does not come across at all, honestly, at all. And I guess that's why I really appreciate about Pokemon Evolutions, because it add, it does add some context and some nuances, <laughs> sort of finished? specific moments in the game. You really thought you could beat Team Galactic? Dream on, kid. Get wrecked, Barry. You won't get away with this. Call protagonist. Maybe I'm never going to be tough enough to beat my dad. Dad? Oh, Rhyperior looks cool there. What? It just manifests rock? Uh, that was not a good type advantage, my friend. <gasps> oh, 
diamond version. Hey, wait a second! Hey, don't start the party without me. If it isn't the little boy who ran off crying. Wow. I think you're tougher now. I'm here to get my revenge. They're really crapping on Barry here. Okay, I, I love Barry now. I care about Barry and his existence. Barry so good. Thank you so much, Razor, for the sub. <laughs> Great battle. Now you beat me. Who are you gonna beat next? Son. Yo, for real though, the rival, this was really, really interesting because it really just made me care about Barry, which honestly, with his whole introduction, like in the game. This type of Barry does not exist. Like in the, he, he doesn't seem like this type of guy. He seems like annoying, um, in your face, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know, it just didn't seem like the struggle for him to like catch up with protagonist and defeat his dad down the line and also like against Team Galactic and like trying to, you know, show off that he's a capable trainer, that he's good enough. It's so interesting and it really, um, showed me that, like, Barry deserves this. Barry deserves this, you know? And I, by the way, I love in the beginning how they showed a uh, briefcase simulator, by the way, just like in the video game, which is very, very cool. Uh, named him er uh, Herb. Ah, poor, poor Barry. You know, it's funny, because, like, honestly, like, other than maybe uh, Blue, a.k.a. Gary, and um, that's it. Pretty much uh, rivals or whatever, honestly. Uh, Barry's dad looking daddy though. Hey, I'm not gonna, I can't challenge that. I can't challenge that. But I love this little uh, reference here to like so f getting the first Pokemon here. And uh, also very relevant because everyone who's soft resetting to get shinies, it's pretty, pretty neat, honestly. Um, let's check out some dad content real quick. Um, hold on, where's dad? There you go, Palmer. Not very happy. Or actually, he looks very, very scary, honestly. But um, showing how Barry just wants to beat his dad, prove that he is worthy, prove that he is the very best, like no one ever was. And then having all these other characters bring him down, basically, like Team Galactic. Um, that was really cool. Like this whole part of Team Galactic, just like crapping on him. It's really, really interesting. No, for real. No, you're not. You're not wrong. Clock stop. Um, I was gonna say a lot of the other rivals are, and you can't even consider Hop a rival. Honestly, is Hop really a rival? He's just a, a dude. Leon's brother, who's just hanging out. It's not really a rival, honestly. Uh, so like, it's not. It's not so much, honestly. Uh, you beat Barry's dad in the battle tower. Nice. But yeah, I Barry is awesome. Yeah. Now, based on this, I am now putting some respect on Barry's name. I'm like, okay, Barry, I know what you're fighting for. I know what you're going through. I just wish that that type of Barry, that Barry that we saw here was also in the video game because like, like most protagonists, it's like, it's like smell you later. I feel like every protagonist is a pseudo variation. It's either a variation on Gary Oak or a complete departure of Gary Oak. You're either like the nothing rival Hop, spoilers, you know, like, I, not, not, no disrespect to Hop, but like the nothing rival, like Hop is not a rival. Hop is just another friend of yours, not really a rival, honestly. 
Uh, Astro says, I really like Top for that reason. They actually did a good job of showing the weight he bears unable to uh, beat his uh, brother. Yeah, no, absolutely. In that sense, yes, absolutely. He has, but he's technically then just not a rival then. He's just a supporting character, which is fine, which is fine, honestly, but not really a rival. Uh, yeah, we're seeing it from his point of view, and I think that's really cool because it it sh it shows some dimension to the character. It's not a uh, a filler character, which I feel sometimes the rivals are just filler characters. I wouldn't say also in Gold and Silver, the rival there also I would say like had some character as well. You know, an evil rival, you know, who's just trying to win and you know who doesn't care about anything. I think I uh, also one dimensional. But at least it kind of had purpose, so to speak, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And they gave him purpose at the end. Yeah, I can see that as well. Um, yeah, and I think when Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon is also, they did, a, they did an okay job as well, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty good, honestly. It was very straight to the point. It um, it gave it gave Barry some character here. Um, perfect for uh, Diamond and Pearl right now because it, you know, it gives some extra back background knowledge, which I appreciate. I want to know more about the characters. I want to know more lore. I want to know, get more interactions. So I really appreciate that. Um, Azrael says, I like the trend of short episodes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say right now for me, evolutions, I really enjoy. Like, honestly, I, I'm surprised that they didn't just make Generations Season 2. Like, I don't know why they had to make evolutions and Generations. Uh, would I have liked maybe an entire season? Like if an entire season like this, like uh, like, a, like 10 episodes that go through a generation, like for example, 10 episodes of Diamond and Pearl, would I have liked that? Maybe, but then again, maybe they, they would have run out of steam because like you, you would have definitely some episodes that were stinkers, <laughs> honestly. But I feel like this lets them give in like a, a, a quick burst of really cool stuff, and then after that, like, take it away from you, because they don't want to ruin, ruin it themselves, honestly. Uh, yeah, Evolutions was just behind, I think, okay, uh, Chalkstop says Evolutions seems more character-focused. Um, yeah, well, like, for example, we just learned about Barry. Um, I think in the last one, we learned a lot about um, N. We learned, well, more Geisist, I think, more Geisist than N. Uh, and we also learn more about, you know, Team Flair. Uh, I liked it. Would I want to see more of it? Of course. But I think the, the small, really ultra concentrated versions of this is pretty cool. So chat, what, would, what do we have left? Uh, red and blue version, gold and silver version, uh, ruby and sapphire, I think are the last ones left, right? I'm not missing anything else. I think we have everything else. So I'm really interested to see what the other uh, Pokemon evolutions have in store for us. Uh, so golden for red and blue. I think based on one of the previews, I think it's Mewtwo related, obviously. Oh, black and white. Yeah, they did black and white um, earlier, Razor. They did um, with N and Geisist. Um, I think it was the, the previous episode, so definitely check them out. Ooh, maybe a Pokemon Legends Arceus, maybe. But would you consider Legends Arceus as part of the mainland series? That's another question as well. Is it an, is it is is uh, Legends Arceus considered a spinoff like Pokemon Snap, or is it going to be a mainline series like Red and Blue, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, Sword and Shield? Uh, the Mewtwo one is Let's Go. Oh, I forgot about it. Does Let's Go maybe replacing uh, Red and Blue? Instead of Red and Blue, it's just going to be Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee. Oh, I didn't even consider that. I didn't even consider that. Interesting. Yeah, I guess maybe that's the case there. Um, Clockstop says it's been considered a main series. They've been pretty adamant nature about it. Okay. All right. So maybe they will. Maybe they'll... Maybe the lead up to the release of Arceus, which spoilers is next month. Chat, Pokemon Legends Arceus drops m next month, which is pretty wild, honestly. Uh, so really, really excited about that one. And uh, so we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited for uh, Johto for uh, Gold and Silver because I want to see that battle between uh, Gold 
and red. Like I want to see that or something, a similar version of that. But I, but then, then again, I'm wondering what they're going to pull out of the last couple of generations left and what are they going to focus on? For example, for Diamond and Pearl, I would have never thought about t thinking about uh, Barry, honestly. Barry was the last person on my mind to make an episode about, honestly. Like, I thought it was going to be about Cyrus, Team Galactic, uh, Palkia, you know, whatever, you know? Uh, so I had no idea. So you will see, honestly. Or Cynthia. Yeah, it could have been about Cynthia, about her journey or whatever. Uh, I want, I still waiting to see Cynthia kick Leon's butt. That would be very cool. Like an, an episode where it's like all the champions versus champions, a champions battle royale. Oh, that'd be kind of neat, honestly. Uh, yeah, exactly, Razor. Same here. Never thought they would give a secondary character such lore. And I appreciate that because now, spoilers, I care about Barry. You know, I care about Barry defeating his his dad, honestly. And I think this right here, you're doing cool moves here. Very nice. Um, this this near uh, near end game here, really cool. Like they the Team Galactic put some respect on Barry, which I really, really appreciate it. I'm here to get my revenge. I'm here to get my revenge. Barry, Diamond and Pearl, 2021, let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I stand him here. In the video game, not so much, but here in this universe, I stand him a lot, honestly. Um, I know in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Isiana, so let's see, honestly, I'm really excited about that. I wouldn't mind seeing something about Team Aqua, Team Magma, or like Kyogre, Kyogre content. I don't know. Like I can't think about what they would pull specifically to do a Pokemon Evolutions about because now based on this, it could be about anything. It could be about anything. Barry even sounds cool here, Bright Azrael. I'm here to get my revenge. Let's actually just listen to that. Hold on. Think you're tougher now? Yes. I'm here to get my revenge. Empoleon, let's go. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. That's a, that's a cool shot, honestly. Good job. Uh, clock's up. Have I seen Pokemon Journeys? Yes. I have been. I like what they're doing with Pokemon Journeys. I Just one quick thing about Pokemon Journeys. I, just, I, I love that they're mixing, like, for example, Mega Evolutions versus Dynamax. Give me that in the video games. Give me that very, very soon. All right, chat. That was an amazing episode. I cannot wait to see more. If you liked this reaction, uh, there's some more up here. I reacted to all of the latest Pokemon evolutions. If you like it, drop a comment, drop a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Diego, Dandy in the Bronx. Y'all have an amazing day. And don't forget, y'all stay dandy. Because we're, we're bringing back the green screen for YouTube mode. Ah, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.